And Africa, Ghana is one of the most expensive countries to live in. Prices of goods and services have increased sharply since the beginning of the pandemic. And some say the situation is becoming unbearable. Rising fuel and food prices are affecting all parts of society, including one man's local rice catering business. Our West Africa correspondent, Nomsa Maseko, went to meet him. Mark Imprim owns a catering business. I met up with him at the market shopping for ingredients for one of his most popular dishes, jollof rice. So how have the increase in prices affected you? It's more. It used to be 20 cities. But we are here today marketing and the woman is telling me the price is going for 40 cities. And you bought it for 20 cities last week, seven days ago. Exactly. And now it's double the price. Exactly. And has she explained why? Uh, she's also saying she went to the market to buy and then the box Box that, like the that. box, yes. yeah. yeah. Formerly, it was around 1,200. But she's telling me today it was 2,500. That means it's difficult for you to put together a budget. Exactly. It's markets like this one where consumers used to come to buy basic food items because they were much cheaper. But now things have changed because food prices have more than doubled everywhere in just the last few weeks. Are you please, I would need oil. 25 litres. How much? 420. What have you found yourself having to stop buying because of the prices? I used to buy oil in bulk, but now I'm even struggling to buy one. What about the spices? Because I see you've got other things here. Um, Maggi, 12, 13 cities, 18 cities now. You understand? Everything. The last time I got uh, a jawari is one of the spices I use in preparing my jollof. Must be very difficult. Very, very, very difficult. Rice, which is fast becoming a staple, is mainly imported from Asia. But local wholesalers have been forced to cancel orders in recent months due to the depreciation of the local currency against the US dollar. In the first quarter of this year, the CD devalued by 19% compared to just under 10% in 2018. In early April, Ghana's inflation shot up to its highest levels since 2019. And one of the driving forces of that has been the cost of buying fuel. And that in turn has made transport even more expensive. Got it, got it, got the amount that we used to buy the fuel is too much for us. So we are killing to you know, the government to reduce the fuel for, for us so that it can help us. Not only is he having to endure steep food prices, but the rising cost of essentials has also been seen in the price of drinking water, which has increased twice in four months, something water producers said was unavoidable. Mark is one of many Ghanaians who worry about their business and livelihood if prices keep going up and up.